Hey everyone, thanks for clicking on this video. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. So I want to talk about tantalum capacitors. There's uh, some confusion out there of what a tant tantalum capacitor is and what it should look like. I think I've got some examples, the most common examples. Now I got a lot of these from old um, equipment. Uh, a lot of them were organs, believe it or not. You can get some pretty good stuff from, from organs. In any event, the older type of tantalum capacitors are these um, teardrop kind of capacitors. So what I've done is the, the top row are um, complete. And what I've done is I've cracked open each capacitor uh, below. So took the smaller tantalum. This one is uh, yellow. And uh, I've cracked it open. And th the key indicator for tantalum is if it's black. Black inside. Solid material and black. Here's a blue capacitor, same idea, it's tantalum. Cracked it open, there's black inside, so it's definitely a tantalum inside. Now this one's a pretty big one. I couldn't even crack it in half completely, but I looked inside and it's definitely black. Oh, it's almost like a charcoal, like a hard charcoal. And there's the intact version. Now here's the more common ones. These ones here are, are kind of old, they're the old style. I don't know if they make them anymore. Normally what they do is they make these um, tape reel type packages. And this is what you'll see a lot of times. Now if you see a yellow or a mustard yellow type capacitor with a line on it, and if you see a number on there like 47 microfarad, 16 volts, you know that's a tantalum. Now if you're not sure, you know what, just crack it open, see what it looks like. The one next to it is very similar. In fact it is a tantalum capacitor, but it's black. And again, it's got the line on it, and it's got actual value. I can't really read what this one is, but it, again, it'll be something like uh, 47 microfarad, 16 volts. Um, now, don't get confused, because diodes look very similar, in fact, to the um, to these tantalum capacitors, the black ones. They, they'll have a line on it, but the diodes, they won't have um, a value on it. It'll probably have some sort of a part number, but definitely not like a capacitance, like a 47 microfarad on it. Just be aware of that. And again, if you're not sure, just crack it open and see what it looks like. The next bunch, these are kind of rare. Um, I, I have no idea where I even got them, to be honest with you. Um, in fact, I, this one I took apart a lot. And I, I wanted to check, first of all, to see if the, the contacts here were silver. I'm not seeing that. I dropped a, um, a bit of nitric acid on there, the uh, Stannis test, I think they call it, or, you know, when you have to check your carrot, gold, and <clears throat> silver and whatnot, and it kind of comes up as a blue, so I'm thinking that might be nickel. In any event, we're really not after that. The, the key is, is the tantalum inside, and you can really, really see this one. It's like just packed in there, so quite a few, that's a big, big capacitor. Anyway, it's tantalum. Uh, the next bunch, these ones, in fact, are called Aerotanta. I think it's Aerotanta. So that kind of is a giveaway, right? Where there's tantalum in them. Now, again, they're old. Uh, I don't know if you're going to see them. But, again, crack it open, and it's black inside, charcoal black. It's definitely tantalum. Uh, this is another version of an old one. And, in fact, I've never seen this style before. In any event, I cut it open, and it's definitely tantalum inside. And the last one here is a big one. Now, again, these are going to be rare and old. Uh, but you can see quite a bit of tantalum in this one. So I'm really happy I've got some of those in the pile over here. So that's it for tantalum. Now, there's one thing, and I'll talk about this a little bit later on a separate video. This capacitor here is not tantalum. It's actually palladium. And it's a different material inside. Same hard substance inside, but you can see it's kind of a silver uh, type of um, a metal, I presume. And I'll talk about that on a separate video. In any event, this is my tantalum collection, and I hope this helps, and have a great day. Bye for now.